guys, it's Spacey, and welcome to what I'm sure is going to be titled, obviously, Going Through All My Christmas Shit. Um, Christmas clothes and things, not my Christmas ornaments. That's like four or five bins. I'm just going to be honest. At least when it comes to Christmas clothing, I have not even a full bin. Um, the only thing I've taken out already are like my Christmas like socks and stuff. So Christmas socks. You don't need to see my Christmas socks. Luckily, I don't have Christmas underwear. I'm going to be taking those out anyway. But that's what we're going to do. I know I asked if you guys wanted to be nosy and watch me put away my Halloween stuff. But there was so much of that. I was like, you know, what? I'm just going to put it away. And like next year around Halloween, we'll take it all out. We can start with this guy. My cute little little snowflake. You can kind of see the little pocket tea guy right there. Um, I was in charge of making our Christmas shirts last year. I'm going to get this one ready while I talk about this. So I made these in addition because I really like these. Um, but yeah, so I made one. I think he glows in the dark. I got the little snowflake. I think my mom got the cute little Christmas tree and my sister got a reindeer. Um, but like, yeah, and I, so I'm sweating. I actually probably should have put this one on, but it does have kind of like our family last name. It's like, not really. We conglomerated my last name, which is also my mom's, obviously, and what our, you know, maiden names were. I never took my ex-husband's last name, thank God. Uh, but like, obviously, my sister and brother-in-law, my sister has a different last name. So we conglomerated them, but I'm not going to show that. But anyway, so it's just a red v-neck tee, but... We did the most likely to shirts. So mine is obviously most likely to drink all the whiskey. Uh, the, some of the white ones, like some of them are sparkly. You can't probably tell that. And then those ones glow in the dark. Cause I don't do anything that's not glittery or glow in the dark, motherfuckers. Um, but we always, for family Christmases, we always did, um, as a kid and everything growing up, we always had matching pajamas, like me and my sisters and everything. And then you got out of that when you got older, but we always had Christmas pajamas. That's what you open on Christmas Eve. Um, and then, so then ever since we started, like my mom, my dad and I would go to my sister, brother-in-law, my one sister's house. We always got, ended up with, we get our Christmas pajamas. You have to do it. Christmas Eve tradition is Christmas pajamas. Um, so we'd always get, you know, matching kind of ones and everything. But last year I was tasked with making our family Christmas shirts. So my brother-in-law was most likely to drink all the beer my sister was most likely to drink all the wine. Niece and nephew were most likely to sell brother, sister for presents. You know, you figure that one out. You got it. And then my mom was most likely to clean up. <laughs> so when you go out, it's kind of fun. If you're going out and you've got me, my sister, my brother-in-law, most likely to drink all the X, X, Y, Z. And my mom most likely to clean up. Her favorite place is standing at the kitchen sink. I'm not kidding. <laughs> we joke about it, but she does like to do dishes. She, I don't think she just likes, she doesn't like dishes in the sink. And I'm like, listen, when I can't put any more dishes in the sink, that's when I put them in my dishwasher because I'm lazy. Anyway, we also have Christmas masks. My sister made this one, you know, obviously back in COVID times. And then I have my fun Christmas one. So I have Rompo from Bungo Stray Dogs. Look at him, like a reindeer and Santa sleigh. And of course, Chuya and Dazai because I love Bungo Stray Dogs and Black Father, you know. I have another pair of socks I'm going to save for later, but, um, also what we have that we will be doing, I don't know if it's going to come out before Christmas or not, because it really depends. I will be doing our black milk Christmas haul. I have even more fucking socks in here, guys. Like 19% of this bin, 19, more like 50% of this bin is socks, um, or Christmas tights. So I have my like candy cane pantyhose. I almost got a couple more pairs, but I was like, I need to stop buying shit for right now. So like we have those anyway, but, uh, a Christmas, a Chris, a very black milk Christmas, because I do have a couple things from their Christmas collection. I ordered a couple that I already have. And then I went back and ordered some other ones. Plus I do have Killstar's Black Friday sales and everything. I got a fuck ton of stuff. So we have those. I doubt will come out before Christmas. So look for that next year. But anyway, um, this is from not last year. I think the year before Black Milk Christmas. It's a shorter kind of dress. I think it goes to my knees. Yeah, whatever. But, um, you know, and it's got the sheer sleeves. That's a little more like, you know, it's our fancy Christmas dress. It's black and gold. It's not our standard red and green Christmas colors. 
I do not have a hat that matches this. If you want to see my Christmas hats, I can show you those afterward. I got this from, uh, obviously, Unique Vintage, but I don't know if I got it last year or the year before, but it's just pink and blue, you know, Christmas, kind of ugly Christmas sweater. Not really ugly, but like with owls and stuff on it. I like birds and ow owls are all over my house in case you couldn't tell. My fun arm warmers. Uh, these are actually leg warmers that I just put bells on. These go with my ugly Christmas sweater that won an award. Okay, this was part of that, but I'll show you those all later. But yeah, <laughs> put those out of the way. My Christmas hat that I've had for a hundred years. I don't know if that's gonna stay on. Uh, we have our Black Milk Christmas pants. Uh, my favorite cuffed pants from Black Milk. I have these, I have an entire drawer behind me filled with these fucking pants. This looks so bad. All right, hold on. All my hair is like stuck now. Okay. All right, here we go. Also didn't bother doing anything makeup wise because I was like, I'm just gonna have to wash it off later. This looks terrible. This barely fits my head. Was this what I got when I was like 10? Jesus. Anyway, but yeah, no, my favorite. I really wish that they would have these. These are again a couple years old. They're not from last year, probably the year before at least. Um, black and black and red. green and with a little bit of red. The last year they had red ones, but then they have like little bows on them and stuff in the print. And I wasn't a huge fan of the print. Um, but I would like red ones because like, you know, you got to mix your red and your green, right? Ugly Christmas sweater number one. I, this was not the award-winning one, okay? I just bought this because I think it's funny. It's like robot Christmas. I live in the South and never gets hot enough. I'm sweating just touching this, okay? I'm sweating in this, but I also have my regular light on, my ring light, and then the one behind me just to give extra light. Um, we have this one, which is a short dress, but if I wear... I got fur from the hat up my nose. If I wear one of my like burgundy kind of duster things behind it, it's not too bad, but I really just, I love this print. He has like little narwhals and little mer kitties and like sea creatures and shit, but it is very, very short and it is very, very like high booby. You know what I mean? And it's also like short. You can't see that from there. And why did everything get super fucking yellow all of a sudden? Wow, that's fun. Is that because I went like this? Nope, hold on. There we go. Okay, I was like, do I gotta come back? But anyway, um, yeah, so that's my bird is shrieking downstairs. I hate it when he makes that fucking noise, but um, Santa reindeer dress. Santa's on unicorns reindeer dress, but like super long one. Again, from Black Milk from a couple years ago. I don't think I got, did I get anything from them last year? This might have been from last year, but the other dresses I've had for years, I can't remember. I don't think I got this one last year. I think this one was from a couple years ago. I did wear it last year um, with, I actually, I wore this to a doctor's appointment. A woman's like, why did you wear so many freaking clothes? Cause I had like the sheer like shirt underneath it. I have a red one that's got stars on it. Like the ones that we saw in the Scooby video, like the last black milk haul we just recently did. Um, but yeah, then there's this one. They did have another dress like this for this year, which I love. I love this dress. Okay, I love the sleeves, the ruching kind of on the front. It's Again, it's got that long like T-length kind of skirt because it's not totally full length. I don't think it is. No, it's like T-length. Um, and it's beautiful, okay? They had one this year that I actually like the print a lot. It's the same style. I like the print a lot better than this one. And then the background's more like, I think it's got, it looks almost yellowish because of like the pattern on the background. It's like white and yellow or whatever, but it's got like the poinsettias and they're like so much bigger. If I think about it, I'll put a picture in, but I probably won't think about it. Um, but I was like, then I'm like, they're too similar to the one that I have. And then that one. And I was like, I don't want to get another one and then end up having two that are exactly the same and then I would have to sell this one and I just you know that would be kind of a pain in the ass so I didn't do that it's disappointing because I like that one a lot better than this one <laughs> anyway um and these are just from unique vintage they're just red velvet 
more like leggings. So they're a little slim fitted and I'm like, eh, not so comfortable totally wearing them, but I want to, I was thinking more like slim pants, but they're more like leggings, but that's okay. Um, another ugly Christmas sweater. This one I probably got from Mod Cloth or Unique Vintage, but you know, it's just got little gingerbread men and trees and stuff. So just in case I don't wear 90% of my sweaters, it's always too hot. This one, this one actually is not Christmas, but I put it in Christmas. It's just a nice kind of Angora, like I think it actually is. Yeah, 55% Angora, 45% nylon. So like, um, just like an Angora cardigan thing. Uh, I have had this guy, this is vintage, okay? Um, I'm pretty sure my aunt got this for me in like the late 90s, early 2000s, okay? Um, and it was funny because at the time I'm like, oh yeah, no, it's nice. But it wasn't my style. Like it wasn't what I was wearing. It wasn't like trendy or in, you know what I mean? Um, and, but it's super nice. And I always kept it because, you know, it's something nice. It was a nice gift. And it's like, well, it works out perfectly because like me now, or even when I went through my 50s era, this shit works and it's really fucking nice. So vintage. The only, okay, the second to last thing in our Christmas bin, not really second to, okay, sort of, uh, my ugly Christmas Batman sweater. This was my dad's. I gave it to him because, hi, everybody needs an ugly sweater and my dad loved Batman. Um, so we always got him Batman stuff. So after he passed away, my mom gave it back to me. So now I have my ugly Batman sweater, <laughs> you know. Um, this, this is getting uglier year by year. I made, this is my ugly Christmas sweater. Um, as you can see, some of the balls have fallen off. The ball is actually in the bin. So I gotta like glue that back on, but it's one of those, you know what? It gets uglier year by year. There's a couple of like the presents have fallen off. Like you can see one of them like down here. This one's fallen out. Um, We've got a TARDIS hanging from the tree. That used to light up. The tree used to light up because there's a little button battery pack in there, but they don't obviously work anymore. We've got our awesome reindeer with his puffy ass on the side, both sides, googly eyes and all. Uh, yeah, so, and then you put these on over the sleeves. Yeah, yeah. Um, when I first started at my job, uh, I worked at a, like, like everybody, it was like a, um, I don't know how to say it without revealing too much information, but it was one of those like, hey, for like newbies in the industry, mostly for kids out of college, I was older because I went back to school later in life to get my degree. Um, and so all the people that were in this program, I mean, there was a range of ages, like you had people who were like 24 and then you had the people who were like pushing 30 and had kids and stuff. So whatever. Um. Not me. I don't have kids. Ha! So that wasn't me. But anyway, so you had like a range of people, but most people were like younger. It was kind of their first job type of a thing. Um, so that was a really nice type of a program thing to have, just FYI. But it was around Christmas, obviously. Like we started in July. So that Christmas, um, the one girl in the group, her fiance, probably her husband now at this point, because this was almost 10 years, nine years ago. That, that nine years old. That has not been washed in nine years. I'm just, I'm just throwing that out there. This has never been washed because you can't wash this. Does it smell? You know what it smells like? It smells like storage. You know, when you pull your clothes out of like the basement storage and you're like, oh, they kind of smell like they've been in storage. That's what it smells like. So that's good. I think I could probably throw it in a pillowcase or whatever or something, but obviously the battery pack and everything, you can't wash that. It was never meant to be, it, I wear it for like maybe 20 minutes at a time. Like I rarely ever wear it anymore. Now it's just whatever. But they were having like a ugly Christmas sweater party. So me and my friend went, bought sweaters. Instead of buying an ugly sweater, we're like, no, no, we're gonna make this shit. So we got the sweaters. Uh, we actually think got ugly sweater kits that came with like the little felt pieces and stuff like that. So all of these, oh yeah, you can also see the balls falling off the tree as well. It came with little felt pieces and stuff like that. His eyeballs falling off. Um, and then we bought extra like ugly Christmas things like the packages and the things and we made our ugly sweaters. I think 
I don't think he ended up going, so I ended up going by myself, but I want a bottle of tequila that I still have, by the way. I've never opened it, so there is still a bottle of tequila downstairs. It's not surprising that everything is vintage in my house. I just put up my Christmas decorations today, um, started putting them up, and my little light up Christmas tree, it's my, it's fiber optic. I turned it on and it went on off and I'm like, really? It broke after 20 years? I can't, guys, I'm not kidding when I say I lost my other sock that I was gonna show you. I have no idea where it went. It doesn't matter, they're the same. Um, these are the best. These are also things you can't, oh no, they're both, they're fucking stuck together. Oh my God. Um, I wanna show you my cat socks, okay? My ugly, my real ugly socks. Wait for it, it gets better. But anyway, every time, I'm not kidding when I tell you every time, everything that comes out of my mouth is like 20 years. Everything in my house is like 20 fucking years old. <sighs> so fucking old. Anyway, so one year, several years ago, my sister, both of my sisters ended up gifting all of us these real ugly sock kits to make your own ugly socks. I have another pair that's still in a bin downstairs, undone, they're Christmas trees. And every year we joke, oh my God, look what I found. Why didn't mom tell us to do it? Cause my mom was like, why don't you do your socks if you're bored? We don't have anything to, why don't you make your socks? She told us like 30 times, did we do them? No. I think last year or the year before we finally did them. So these are my ugly, I just remind you what he looked like. And now look at my fucking ugly cat socks. <laughs> and I, you can't even say he's ugly. These are amazing. These are the best fucking cat socks ever. They were in my Christmas bin. I pulled them out. I'm like, they deserve to go up here with the ugly sweater. So now I have an ugly sweater. I have ugly socks. And you know, the way I sew, we could make ugly fucking pants. I also know I promised you possibly a sewing video for Christmas or whatever. I did make my mom's moo moo like thing. It looks horrible. I'm ashamed of it. I don't even want to like the few things that I like put together for the video. I was like, I'm not, I'm not even, we're not doing this. I don't, I don't even want to admit that I made this thing. So don't, don't look forward to that, but I'm going to go and we're going to pull over the Christmas hats and then we can go through the Christmas jewelry because that's basically the only other stuff that we have. Christmas is very small. Halloween's my fucking shit. Christmas is like, I'm gonna get the other hats. Merry Christmas, I brought you a present. Should that be the thumbnail? What, do the YouTuber face? Okay, oh dear God. Anyway, um, this is just a gift box. This is what I keep my hats in for Christmas. I have cake boxes that I actually keep my other hats in. Most of them, some of them don't fit. But that one suits all of my Christmas hats. So, first hat we have, I think, Actually, yes, this came from the Wee Hatter on Etsy. Um, if you watched years ago, whatever, I did like a hat haul type of a thing. So I've mentioned all these people before, but this is my red, white, and green one. So we have our lovely Cardinal. It goes with all my red and green kind of stuff if I want to wear. We'll take that off. I'm not going to put them all on, but I will put one on. They're kind of a pain. You obviously have to do your hair kind of like around them and like pull your hair out and then kind of put it up because like otherwise this looks stupid. But here we go. We'll just pretend it looks okay. Right. Because I'm a top hat bitch. I wear these to work just FYI and I do work in corporate America. So I'm just saying. Um, and then we have our little one that goes with blue. Again, it's got a bird on it. This one, I'm not 100% sure where this one came from. Um, the Wee Hatter it does them. I buy them from Cheeky Bird. And then I think, what was the other, God, I cannot, I'm, I'm so bad. Um, Little Miss Hattitude. Those are the three places I buy most of my hats from. I have bought some from other places, but those are where most of them. So this might be Little Miss Hattitude or Cheeky Bird. I'm not sure. Um, but you know, that goes with all my blue stuff. Do I have a lot of blue stuff? No, I did just buy a pair of pants that are blue though. Um, and then, okay, that one's probably Little Miss Hattitude because Cheeky Bird also has like a label inside and this one doesn't have like a little label. 
This one also does the same thing where they put the label inside the hat. Um, but this one is a very tiny top hat and obviously it's red, but it's turquoise. So it's got, it goes with all of my turquoisey Christmas things. I have a huge pile of Christmas stuff that I don't want to ruin. Holy hell. But it would go with like, you know, my turquoisey Christmas things, especially this. Okay. Um, and now my color is all off again, or like even this one, like, you know, turquoise kind of things. Oh dear God. Lighting. Can we get better? Thanks. Okay. Um, I did just buy, and I don't know if it'll be here, and if it is, I'll put a little snippet in. Um, I did just buy another one from Cheeky Bird because she was having a sale and I can never resist a good hat. Um, I was browsing. I just felt like it for Christmas for myself. I got two Halloween hats. Not that I need more because I think I have like seven Halloween hats. And I did just buy another Christmas hat, but it is pink. I have nothing pink for Christmas, guys. I was like, I love this, but it's pink. I guess I'm gonna have to start buying pink shit for Christmas. So anyway, those normally get stuck over there. But I did bring over here and I just tripped over my fucking suitcase. All right, I did bring over my Christmas jewelry again. This does not, we don't have a ton of this. Um, I did just get this guy, a little pin. Hopefully you can see him, little, yeah. He came free, I bought, Hopefully no one in my family ever sees these, but if they do, don't watch this because I'm talking about Christmas gifts. Um, I bought, okay, well, I bought for myself and maybe possibly someone else <clears throat> for Christmas. <clears throat> um, floaty pens. And because I spent X amount of money, she gives you like a free floaty pen for the whatever, the month. So it was Christmas. So I got a little Christmas one, with a little Christmas hat on it. My poor hat keeps falling off. But then also I got like a little gift bag kind of thing that came with that pin, this little snowflake necklace, like little uh, Christmas post-its and stuff like that. So like cute little Christmassy things. So I put those in with my Christmas jewelry. Um, I also have this like snowflake locket that I've had for forever. Um, and then these are, I think these are both pewter um, snowflakes. I got a giant one. I don't have the chain on it, but it's okay. I swap it out. And then this smaller one that I've, these ones, again, vintage. I've had these for like 20 years. Um, I also have my Christmas bracelet. I don't really wear bracelets a ton, but I do have this Christmas bracelet that I made forever ago. It's just, he's flipped around. You can't see him. It'd be better if I filmed this slightly like differently than this, but like, I don't feel like flipping my camera around, but like, you know, it's got all of our Christmas baubles and stuff like that and then stuff. So Christmas bracelet. Oh, here's the chain for the snowflake. All right, whatever. Um, I have these Christmas earrings that I also made forever ago. Most of this, okay, the rest of this shit is all stuff that I made. So that's my Christmas jewelry. So I have these like Christmas, uh, you know, your things. It would be so much easier to flip these around, wouldn't it? But then I'd have to hold my camera and then try to point it out. Would that be easier? I guess it would hold. Okay, so I just flipped. I'm using, we're using my nice sweater as a backdrop. Um, This is all the stuff that I just kind of showed you. That's backwards. Um, But, you know, all the stuff that I've kind of had for forever, those necklaces. These are those freebies that I got. And then here is my bracelet and then those earrings. Um, so this was the stuff that I kind of already showed you, but like, here's a better kind of view of it all, I guess like that. And then I'll get the other stuff, but let me move this stuff out of the way. This is like wicked hard. Cause like, I gotta like kneel down and do this shit. But anyway, um, so this is just a, like, obviously like an ornament, like a tree ornament kind of thing pendant that I made a couple of years ago. So it's mostly black, but it's got like the red and green kind of glitter in it and the silver in the background. Um, so that just, you put on any chain or whatever that you have. Check that out of the way. Um, these Christmas trees. So again, made those a couple of years ago. <laughs> Angora fur is getting all over them. Um, so just little resin Christmas trees, with like all the red, the gold and stuff like that. Seek like glitter and stuff in them. 
And then, oh, these guys. Shh, don't look at those ones yet. So then these are the same thing. Um, I'm not sure. Like, some of them were made years and years ago. Some I made, like, two years ago. Um, but these, obviously, like, they have little snowflake cutouts and stuff like that. So little cutouts, little snowflakes and stuff like that. And then we have our little snowmen. These also had cutouts, but I filled them in um, with silver. And then they're, like the pink and the turquoise and then they have like just the uh pearl kind of drop kind of things in there like that so there's those and then we have our fun ones like these so these obviously are mismatch these i made last year on the cricket so they are basically made with uh faux leather and then heat transfer vinyl i started making them with like i made uh dragonfly ones as well not for christmas but regular ones um doing like three layers of vinyl like you have the background layer like that green layer and or not vinyl the uh leather and then you do silver leather and then obviously a back and then I was like oh I'm gonna do like the heat transfer vinyl on the back that'll be easier they won't be as thick and then I'm like well I'm stupid I should just do the heat transfer vinyl for the top layer too because at least this one's hard to see but this one you can see all the detail in it so like it's hard to cut especially with like that kind of thick glitter that's the faux leather so I'm like, it's easier to do the heat transfer vinyl, but I like my earrings mismatched. So there are those. And then we have these ones that are just, again, snowflakes. So again, that's the, the blue fake leather background. And that this has got fuzzies on it from the sweater. Don't mind that. Um, and then like the heat transfer vinyl. And then this one has a, actually that one. Oh, you know what? These are the ones that I messed up. Okay. I messed them up because I think I was going to do the blue. No, maybe not. Well, that's the vi that's the backing. That's the leather. And then I did, I think I, um, that's supposed to be the back. And I think I was like, oh, wait, I need the white. So I cut white. And then I was like, no, what I wanted, that was, it was supposed to be blue on top of the white leather. So I kept these because they're, they're a mess up. That's the vinyl on top of vinyl with the leather backing. Not the way it was supposed to be, but you know, whatever. Don't mind. I'm not going to. Oh, good Lord. Okay. Hold on. Let me have these ones. So again, these were the way I started it, where you have the teardrop that's at least with that uh, super glitter. And then the black faux leather was easier to cut the holes out of, but you know, and then again, that's also, so these ones at least aren't that thick. I think that is like the faux leather. I'm not sure. But, like, they get really thick when you do it. These ones at least weren't that bad. But, um, you know, so. Lesson learned. Plus, these ones, the detail wasn't too hard to cut out of this. But when you're trying to cut this, it's fucking insane. So it was a lot easier to just do the backing layer as that glitter stuff. And then do the, like, the heat transfer vinyl on top. Um, I made a fuck ton of these. And I kept a bunch. Everybody got some. I think I still have several pairs. The, I, these ornament ones were extra ones and I kept them for myself this year. And same with these guys, I think I was like, whatever. I made these for me, obviously. So again, just the reindeer. Um, and again, with the leather on leather or whatever, which again, this leather is easier to cut the details, but this shit was a fucking bitch. And then the last pair of these, um, technically I have another pair that's like red and silver, but I keep them out. They're not like Chris. I don't, I wear them for Christmas, but they're not, I keep them like they could be not Christmassy, even though they're technically Christmas ornaments, but they're not shaped like this. They're just ovals. Um, but these ones are just, again, mismatched. So that one's got like a snowflake. But like, look at the glitter. It's so fun. So that stuff like that. And then our last things, it's going to be really hard to show the one, but I made these this year because I was really bored and my power went out one day. So I was like, all right, I'm going to make some shit. So um, so this is just a cuff bracelet and it's just like the lace and then you can see the glue on it. It's really not super hold like, you know, hold on, you know, it goes around your wrist. See, this is why I don't do things like this. So it just goes around your wrist kind of like that. But anyway, and then our last thing, uh, good Lord, hold on, hold on. I'll get this. These are the other earrings I was talking about that are like the silver and the red. So like, 
you know, they're the reverse kind of cutouts. Um, sorry, it's dark over here, but there's no fucking light on this side of my bedroom, basically. Um, but yeah, these are the other ones that I keep out all year round, even though they're kind of Christmassy, but they kind of go with other stuff. So that's what I was talking about. All right. It's not laying perfectly um, because I don't have time to fix it in the mirror, but just a dragon scale kind of pendant necklace. These ones are glow in the dark. And then you just have like, they look silver, but they have a tint of gold to them. And then the red and green or whatever, but okay, I'm sweating to death. guys, I'm dying of sweat. Um, it's hot as shit. Cause I have every light on in my house. And that's like what the cup would look like if I, you know, actually put it on. Um, uh, but yeah, so that's all my Christmas shit. So that was all my hats and my jewelry and my Christmas outfits. And then obviously I just mixed in other accessories and shit that I have, um, to, you know, mismatch and like blend, fill in the gaps. You know what I mean? Um, I'm surprised I have molds for like tiny little Christmas tree, like little studs. I'm surprised I never made those for myself. I have so much stuff that I don't do. But anyway, that was all my Christmas shit. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Raiding my closet a little bit, sorta, whipping out my Christmas clothes. I literally just took everything and threw it in the bin and it's just in a pile in there. And that's the way it's going to be for the rest of the year. Good God. Anyway, uh, like I said, we do have, I have Black Milk Christmas stuff coming up. Um, the last stuff that I bought, because I went back, like I said, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this. Um, so that, I don't know when those are going to arrive, if they arrive before Christmas. I mean, they will, but like right before Christmas, I have a lot of time. My mom's coming up and all that shit like that. And then I got to do Christmas stuff. So I'm not going to have time to film for the last couple of weeks of the year. Um, and probably not for the beginning of next year either. Holy shit. It's 2024, bitches. Um, the only thing I didn't show you is my Christmas purse, but that's downstairs. So I'm not getting that. Uh, if I think about it, maybe I'll film it and put it in here. Like, did I dip my Christmas person for you? It's hanging up on my freaking uh, door, so don't mind the fact that this is the weirdest angle. But, um, yeah, my Christmas purse. I even turned the lights on for you. Look at that. You can see the Christmas lights inside. Uh, they'd be better if it were darker in here, but my lights are on, so maybe I will turn those off. Um, you know, it's even got Christmas fabric in the background. You know, and then we got our uh, things hanging over here. There's some hanging off the side back here as well. Boop! Anything that was slightly festive. Chewy is back there too. Oh, there he is. Anything that was wintry. It's just those guys, yeah. And then there's uh, some guys hanging off here. Boop! Hee hee hee. And then these guys, they should be able to see those. And then the lights and everything like that. But like, hold on. Let's see if I can uh, walk over here. Don't look at my living room, it's messy. Don't look in my living room. It's messy. I have to, uh, there you go. <laughs> it's going to be blurry, but like those got the red and green lights. The, 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 the green ones show up way more because the red ones are kind of like hidden behind stuff. But there you go. Christmas purse. Did I? I don't know. Anyway. Um, but yeah, and then I have the Killstar like, um, Black Friday sales and stuff like that. So but again, I don't know if I'll be able to film those before the end of this year. So if not, this is prob this might be the last video of the year, but at least we did something sort of festive. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, I hope you have a happy holiday if I don't talk to you before then, if I don't film those other videos. Um, and have a wonderful new year. And I will see you guys next year, most likely, you know, I say that, but then there'll be another video in like a couple, in like a week or something and like, whatever. <sighs> or I'll have filmed the other videos and put them up and this will be like before Christmas. And then you'll be like, you already filmed that. What are you talking about? So obviously you can tell I filmed this before any of those other ones in case I put those up first, but whatever. Anyway, toodles.